Torah dans tout le monde. Genesis 19, verse 15 to 26. Let's open and read. I read. When the morning dawned, the angels urged Lot to hurry, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters, who are here, lest you be consumed in the punishment of the city. And with the hands of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful to him, and they brought him out and set him outside the city. So it came to pass, when they had brought them outside, that he said, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you, nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest you be destroyed. Mark that place very well. Then the Lord said to them, Please, no, my Lord, indeed, now your servants have found favor in your sight, and you have increased your mercy, which you have shown me by saying, Saving my life, but I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil overtake me and I die. The sun and the sun had risen upon the head when Lord enters the world. Then the Lord rained brick stone and fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Behind him, and she became the pillar of salt. If you leave Sodom and Gomorrah, don't look back. You might ask me, man of God, what are you saying? We are not living in Sodom and Gomorrah today. Sodom and Gomorrah is gone for years now. What are you talking about? I want to talk to you that Sodom and Gomorrah still exist. The earth generally is Sodom and Gomorrah. The worldly things and the world, the things you see today, they are Sodom and Gomorrah. The death you are seeing, the pain you are seeing, all the atrocity, they are Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, Sodom and Gomorrah was a physical world. God used as an example for this earth me and you is living today that will soon pass away. If I'm talking to someone. Yes, sir. The two angels came. When you look at today's Christianity, Jesus and the Holy Ghost, they are working hand in hand to bring all the children of God before God. Listen and listen, please. I want everyone to be silent. Listen and listen, please. When you are born again, when you are suppressed as a Lord and personal Savior, Sodom and Gomorrah will strive with you. But don't look back. I don't know the challenge. I don't know what the world is offering you. To drink is very sweet, but it's so dumb, it's the world. To do all kinds of atrocities, smoking, sleeping with anybody you want, anybody you care, anybody you see, is very sweet. But it's so dumb, the world. When you leave those things and you are looking back, you are not fit. You go nowhere. When the Lord met with Lord and his wife, there's something the Lord showed me last night. It was like the Holy Spirit take me to his sin to get it in My God, there's something I saw that feared me. I in the spirit realm, I find myself in another place where I don't know where. But there's something that happened. I saw Lord and his wife and the two daughters. They were going. And Lord said, the angel warned us not to look back. We might leave gold. We might leave silver. We might leave our property. Please, my daughter, 
I know you both were married. When you read your Bible carefully from verse 1, you will find that those two girls were married already. But their husbands refused to listen to the voice of God. The same thing that is happening today. When you preach to people and tell them the kingdom of God is at hand, they will both slap on your face. They will look at you as if you're only man. They will see you as if you don't know what you are doing. You don't have a good job to do. That is why you are saying the world is coming to an end. The trumpet will soon sound. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. They will look at you. What is this person doing? Is wasting time, but they never know you are already on your way out of Gomorrah. They don't, those two guys were married. As they were going, their father was telling them, Please come, my daughter, don't go back. I know your husband's refused. I called them, I told them, but they refused. But listen, the angel told us, not only me, you were there. And the angel said we should not look back. Please, no matter what, don't let those things bother you. Don't look back. Where we are going to, you are going to have a good husband there. You are going to have a good family there. The place we are going to is better than where we are coming from. Our trust city, evil is full of where we are coming from. Please, just focus. Focus. My way you are going to. Don't let anything distract you. They were going. And I heard the two daughters listening. We hear Papa. We hear Papa. I will not look behind. I will not look back. As they were going, and he was talking to his wife. Daddy, I understand. You were in some club. You were in some meeting. I understand the money you have in the bank. I understand the women that always greet you. I understand the women you used to visit. I understand. It's very hard for you to make new friends for where you are going to, where you don't know anybody. But leave those things behind. Never look back. But the wife never listened. The wife looked back. As they were holding her, come man, come my brother. There's something I saw. Protocol, please come. Please come. There's something I saw. They were walking this way. They were going. While the man was talking, the man was still preaching. Please don't look behind. Please don't look back. I don't know what is challenging you. I don't know what is what, what to draw you back. Please, my dear wife. Please, my dear daughters. Never you look back. Just look where you are going to. Look above the hill where your head coming from. For your head coming from above. Please just look above but not behind. But the wife never listened. All of a sudden something happened. As they were going, something happened. Something happened. Something happened. The wife was feeling the wife The man could not feel anything. They move around. The man could not feel anything. What a painful moment. What a painful moment. The man could not feel anything. The man used his hand to touch himself. And the man asked, Oh, my daughter. Hey, patience. Did you feel the hands of your mother again? Patience said, No. Ah, Mama have no back. Mama have talked to me now, sons. Mama have talked to me now. Please, the two daughters cried. Daddy, no, I will not take it. And the man cried out, I am your father. He's my wife. If anybody love and knows, it's me. It's me that lost my wife here. Yeah. But there is something. Although I love her so much, I will not love her. Was seeing the man crying. The two daughters crying. The man began to encourage them. I know you have lost your mother now. Your mother just came. She looked back. She won't have looked back. She just came something. The angel told us, let's just be going. Let's be going. Let God be your mother. Let God be your father. Let's be going. Please, my daughters, don't look back. That is how they enter the promised land.
1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. The Bible says, Is anybody reading there? 52. Uh huh. In the twinkling of an eye. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. At the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. For the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be prayed. The dead shall rise up. The incorruptible. The incorruptible. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. We shall be changed. In the twinkle of an eye. In a moment. The trumpet will sound. The dead will raise first. The immortal will put on immortality. We shall be changed. Let me tell you, the Bible says, He that looketh back is not fit. He that putteth his hand on the cloud and looketh back is not fit. He that putteth his hand is not fit. In a moment, you are on a journey. You are already on your way to journey. As a Christian, you are already on a journey. When you look back, you are not fit. Listen, there are things that will draw you back now. There are things you will see in the world today that will make you drop Christianity and say, I will not serve God anymore. But those things, Never worth it. If there is any price to pay for you to make heaven, my dear brothers and sisters, pay the price. Mm. If there is any price again to pay for you to make heaven, my dear brothers and sisters, pay the price. Heaven is real. Heaven is real. So don't want to is a symbol of what we will see today. We are on a heavenly journey. We are on a heavenly journey. You are already on your journey. You are already walking towards it. The trumpet will so sound. The trumpet will so sound. Please, my dear brothers and sisters, don't look back. The devil will do everything possible to distract you and bring you back. All this joblessness is the strategies of the devil. Believing God for the fruit of the womb and not getting it on time is the strategies of the devil. No document on time is the strategy of the devil. Many of you, when you believe, you are asking God for document and it's not forthcoming. You go out there. Let me just hurt myself. Let me just forget all these things. You go and buy some beer. You go and buy some cigarette. You smoke. You try to wear away time. You try to just keep time. You try to forget everything. You try to look the thing as if the challenge is not there. But after you finish drinking and smoking, you will still see the document is not forthcoming. It's not there. All of a sudden, gradually, Take one to make tomorrow before you know you become a drunkard. You begin to drink essence. You begin to smoke essence. You that were smoking one stick before, now you can buy a packet of cigarettes. You try to stop it, but it's not stopping. You try to wipe it away from your spirit, from your brain. And then the thing comes continuously. My dear brothers and sisters, all these are the strategies of the devil to bring you back to Sodom and Gomorrah. Where you left and said, God, I will not go back again. The Bible says only dog that vomit and go back to his vomit. I believe you are not a dog. Anything you say, I will not do again. You will not do. If you live so dumb and Gomorrah, please don't look back. Listen. The witches are wizard oppression you are seeing today. All the wickedness, the killing, everything you are seeing today. They are all the words of Satan. Satan was there before. He knows what he means. He don't want many people to be there. 
He's drawing people down. He's drawing people backward. I don't know your challenge. It's only God that knows. I'm just human. Privileged to be used by God. I am human. I can't want somebody from me. I can't take it away from you. If I have the power in my hand, please, I know I know now. And in short, I will not be here today. I could have solved your problem for all days. Maybe today, I might be in Africa or in America, just blessing people, changing their life for good, for them to live to the glory of God. But the power is not in my hand. It's just the grace of God. Listen, God know that you will pass through it. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. Talk to me last. Yes, sir. Talk to me never last. Yes, sir. If I'm talking to somebody. Yes, a man told me one certain time, when the journey become rough, you be tough. When the journey become tough, you be rough. But be one. If I'm talking to somebody. Yes, I don't know what is the challenge in your life. That want to make you give up, but the time has come for you to retire in your bed. Uh, listen, there's something I learned with a bad car when you are driving a car. Well, there is a way car will be moving. When you see that the thing is getting, it's like the car is not moving. You reaccelerate. If I'm talking to somebody, you reaccelerate. Then you see the car move again. The car is on speed again. Now, if there is any challenge in your life, reaccelerate your prayer. Reaccelerate your prayer. Reaccelerate your faith. Don't look back. There is nothing there. 